Y94.com exclusive. Uh, I want to know, kind of, and especially in your knowledge, what's the weirdest guy you've ever dated? <laughs> Definitely the guy I'm with now. <laughs> oh, so you like that? You like weird? I do. I like weird guys. I'm kind of, I've been called a chubby chaser before. Oh. So I like guys that are very out well, of my Describe my your guy to us then, because now I'm curious based off this description and what you're into. Uh, well, now, now he's like tall and he's very thin, actually. He's like 6'5". Was um, he not when you met? Well, he was always 6'5", but he was like a, a big guy when mm -hmm. I met him, so. Yeah, which I like. I do. I like like a lot to hold on to. Like, oh, we're gonna get along just fine. <laughs> the big bear hug, you know. Oh. Yeah. You say he's weird. What's weird about him? Everything. What's not weird about? Him? I well, I was looking for specifics. I know. I know. Didn't, he's just generally weird. He has a very bizarre sense of humor. Mm -hmm. You know, and we both kind of have the same sense of humor. Like he was one of the first people that told me he was like, "You're really funny," and I was like, "Really?" Because most people just think I'm kind of awkward and weird. And yeah. So <laughs> we kind of share the same so, sense of humor. So let me ask you this, Lucy: Is your relationship is it pretty much perfect? Because you seem very into him. I assume you have no problems whatsoever. No, every relationship has problems. What's your problem? Communication, like everybody else. No. Well, what, what, give me an example. What, where have communicating issues come to be a problem for you guys? Um, you know, and listening, listening, half listening. Do you guys I, see we that? finally Selective found listening. Rat, we finally found the thing that she's uncomfortable talking a little bit about. Yeah. Because you have been for forty <laughs> minutes. Boom, 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 boom. And now we're getting to the boyfriend stuff and the issues. We finally found the thing. I'm very excited. Let's poke and prod at it and make her uncomfortable. What is he not, not listening to you about? I think it's like both both of us not really listening all the time. Like for instance, the bathroom again. This is the one place that mm. we share intimately, mm. and so like I would intimately. Have... What are you doing in that bathroom, Lucy? Well, you know the intimate stuff that you do wow. alone. Wow, you know what goes on. In yeah, come on. Okay, so um, it's so hand towels. Mm -hmm. Okay, he'll well I'll put a hand towel up. And then he'll go and do his toothbrush thing, and then he'll wipe his, like, face on there. But, you know, guys, and you guys probably do the same thing. You, like, don't rinse all the toothpaste gunk off your face before mm -hmm. you take the towel and just kind of, you know, wipe it off. So then I was going to use that towel for my face, to dry my face off. But now there's, like, toothpaste nasty on it. So I'll take out a brand new towel, and I'll let him have that towel. I'll put a new towel up. He That'll be my towel. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then he'll... Oh, look at this nice clean towel. Why don't I just wipe all my... I hate that. 